So good morning and welcome to the Refreshing Views Observatory. My name is Mark Radici and today we're going to go through a 3D printed, homemade 3D printed parallelogram mount that you can make yourself. So if you've watched the videos on Refreshing Views, you've seen us traveling through the solar system, we've visited the moon, we've visited the planets, we've gone through the Milky Way, we've even visited galactic clusters, distant, far distant galactic clusters. And so therefore you're going to think that having a telescope, having a camera, having an observatory is pretty essential. Well, you are right, but there's so much you can see with a pair of binoculars. And when I started out in astronomy, I couldn't afford a telescope, I couldn't afford a camera. And all I had was a pair of binoculars. It wasn't this pair of binoculars, it was another pair. And I had an absolute blast. I was finding craters on the moon, finding new deep sky objects, watching the moons going round Jupiter, all with a pair of binoculars. And being able to sit back in your sun lounger adjust the binoculars to where you want to observe is absolutely wonderful. So you can 3D print this yourself. I'm going to put all the designs, all the assembly instructions, all the 3D print files are up on my website. Um, feel free to download those. That's just, that's just one inch aluminium tubing, aluminium tubing, stainless steel fasteners. I'm afraid it's all metric. So for those of you in America who prefer medieval measurement systems, this is all metric, but you can adjust that. You can choose whatever you want to put in there. That's got a 3 8 camera th thread in, and that fits on top of the tripod. I haven't quite yet worked out a decent counterweight system, so I've got just some ordinary, uh, what's that, a two kilogram, two kilogram dumbbell. And that just carabiners onto the end. So we've got the binoculars, and I've got a little camera thread, quarter by 20 camera thread. There's a thread on the bottom of the binoculars. That goes through like so. Oh, and this is, you'll like this. So I've also designed in, if I adjust that, you can adjust, you can then adjust the counterweight to get the balance just right. So you can either print this yourself, pay for a printing service, or just use the drawings, use the instructions on the website and make your own version out of whatever you've got to hand. So the beauty of having the parallelogram mount, you can sit in your comfy chair, creaky comfy chair. So the only problem with my sun lounger is I haven't got an armrest, I haven't got something, so I've got to put my tea down on the floor and then I can observe, tilt back a bit, and I can observe all the way from up to the horizon, all the way from the zenith down to the horizon, and I can go left and I can go right. And the only problem with observing like this is you're probably going to fall asleep and start snoring. Ah, so there you are. So you can adjust these to wherever you want to observe. So there you have it, a 3D printed, lightweight 3D printed parallelogram mount. You can make this yourself and observe and enjoy the night sky. And so what I love about this as well, not only is it you know, a pretty cool looking mount and it holds your binoculars really well. Uh, my daughter's been out, she's joined us a few times as well. And I can push these up so that I can see what I'm looking at. And then of course she's shorter than me, so we can bring it down. And because the binoculars, they're always parallel always pointing in the same direction no matter what height you're looking at um, so she can have a look as well so no matter you know if you want to share the views as well you can then do that with your pair of binoculars and being all 3d printed blah, blah, blah. so being all 3d printed being made of aluminium it's really light it's all hollow structures hollow skin structures and of course plastic on plastic means this is a really smooth operator so you can you know, just put it where you want literally holding that with your fingers. It's such good fun, such a pleasure. The only problem you've got to watch out for is you may start snoring as you lie back in the chair. So what I'm doing at the moment then is I'm writing up all the, uh, the CAD files, I'm putting all the building instructions, the assembly instructions onto my website. I'll put a link in the description, I'll put a link down below as well. So make sure you go and check that out. That gives you all the instructions if you want to 3D print it or get somebody else to 3D print it for you. And of course, just take the designs, take the CAD files, and you can make your own out of wood or whatever you've got. And it was all made 
on the 3D printer, stainless steel parts, aluminium tubes, aluminium tubes if you're from the other side of the pond. So I suddenly realised I haven't actually told you how much this all cost. Now I already have the tripod, I bought that from Telescope Express in Germany, I'll put a link into that below. I think my model is out of date now, it's been replaced by a more modern and newer model. Of course I already had the binoculars as well, but in terms of the actual hardware I had to buy to make the mount itself, there's a whole load of M6 and M8 nuts, bolts, washers, and I guess I probably used about half of those. Looking down the list, I also bought the nylon tip grub screw, but I bought a pack of them, and only actually ended up using one of them. Uh, Aerodite Rapid, uh, the quick drying epoxy, pack of that, pack of black and a pack of white uh, printer filaments, and again, I think I've used about half of those. And the last thing was the aluminium, aluminum tubing, uh, one 500 millimeter length and two 300 millimeter lengths. So I put all those prices there and you can see the whole thing came to around 70 pounds thereabouts because of course I haven't used up all of the packs. So the whole mount cost less than 70 pounds, $70, whatever you want to use. So there you are, a binocular mount that cost less than 70 pounds. So remember, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed seeing the parallelogram mount, I'm going to upload those files, upload the building instructions so you can print your own as well, make your own as well. So when that's done, I'll pop a post on the Refreshing Views uh, community page, on the YouTube page, I'll put it on the socials as well. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll be able to see when those are gone live. Uh, in the meantime, I must say thank you. I now have two Patreon accounts. So thank you very much to my Patreons for your continued support. And we look forward to bringing you more videos as we explore the night sky. Do you therefore think that having a telescope, having a camera is pretty essential for astronomy? There's a big tractor just going past. Just wait for him to go past. So if you've been watching the videos on Refreshing Views, you'd have seen us traveling through, oh, it's a fucking train. 